Proposition. A technically advanced civilization discovers Earth. They don't need its water, air, or resources, but their advanced probes detect a threat. In mere millions of years, life on Earth could advance to the point of vying for dominance among the stars. What would they do? Let's engage. Take your seat. The human adventure is just beginning. What would you do if your interstellar civilization detected a planet that could be a potential threat, but they haven't detected you yet? Death, what does game theory say? The safest move is to eliminate the threat before it is aware of you. But, Scott, humans have only been boots to the moon six times, and you have more probe pieces scattered across Mars than successful landers. How are humans a threat to anyone? Because we've developed from the steam engine to spaceflight in 300 years plus change. What will we be doing in another 300? In a thousand years? 10,000? Ah, I see. So, you think if an advanced civilization knew we existed, they would invade to stop our development? No, not at all. That's too expensive. they just take one shot and kill all life on Earth. That's the cheap way to do it. All you need is a big rock and a little rocket engine and let physics do the rest. And there are plenty of rocks around in our own solar neighborhood. You think they would throw an asteroid at us, like the one that killed the dinosaurs? No, Def. I imagine they did throw an asteroid at us, and it was the one that killed the dinosaurs. Throughout the universe, life is mostly bacteria, archaea, and simple organisms called prokaryotes. On Earth, it took billions of years for the first complex life forms to appear, and another billion for it to develop into anything as complex as dinosaurs. But once you have large, land-dwelling predators with binocular vision, Experience has probably taught our alien friends that space empires are only millions of years away. Plenty of time to rig up an ecosystem-destroying impactor, even if you're sending cheap little drones at sublight speed. If that were true, they caused something much more dangerous to themselves than anything the dinosaurs might have become. They indirectly threw the balance over to mean little rodents, predatory mammals, and eventually, humans. Yeah, how about that? But it's been 65 million years and there is silence all around us. Maybe they've met their own fate. And maybe, just maybe, it's our turn to inherit the stars. Hey, Dreamforge Magazine is a science and fantasy fiction magazine founded on the idea that the human adventure is just beginning. Our stories aren't about apocalypse, doom scrolling, or dystopia. Speculative fiction should be the literature of hope, genius, determination, and ideas. And that's what you'll find in our poems. We often use the tagline, in all worlds and times, our tales revolve around those individuals and groups who bring meaning and value to the world, whose actions are of consequence, and whose dreams are the vanguard of things to come. If you love science fiction and fantasy, don't miss out. Support us at the digital or print level on Patreon or at our website. Links will be in the description. A few dollars a month from you helps bring great stories to life. Until next time, bye-bye.